Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing my second ever uh, art journal page and uh, I'm just cutting out the edge of this one to, for one, give it a little bit more interesting of a shape and also to like cut off that edge and then cut off the corner there that said something about pages. I don't know. Um, and I'm just using this glue, uh, clear Elmer's glue stick to glue it down. It seems to work pretty well on the other page. So it's what I'm doing here as well. Put a whole bunch of it on there and smoothed it out as best as possible. And I honestly don't care if these pages are wrinkly. Like I kind of actually love when pages get wrinkly because I love the texture and the noise that it makes uh, when you like flip the pages. <laughs> so um, maybe I'm a little weird in that aspect. I know, I know there's other people out there who, who like that. I know I'm not the only one, but, um, I think most people don't like when their pages get crinkly. I actually kind of like it. So, um, I am grabbing some green acrylic paint and I'm just going to use a paintbrush to kind of like blob it on. Um, I probably should have grabbed a, um, like a sponge or something, but I didn't and it's fine. So the, the stenciling doesn't come out perfect and that's fine. I didn't need it to. Um, it's like uneven and blotchy and there are some parts that bleed, but I don't mind that at all. I think it just adds to the, the whimsical nature of the page. And maybe next time I'll use a sponge, maybe not, but that's totally fine. So I do some polka dot stuff on that side and then I flip the stencil over on this side to kind of smush the negative on there, like with the extra paint and then I smush it over here. Um, did I smush it again? I think, I don't know. I do some, do some stippling there for the stencil. Um, I am giving myself some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some grace with these pages because I am very new to art journaling. This is literally my second page ever, like I said, and, um, I'm not like a hundred percent proud of not that I'm not proud. I'm not 100% satisfied with how it turned out. Um, but I know that it's a process. I know that it's going to take time for me to obtain uh, the knowledge of new um, techniques and new ideas and <laughs> um, figure out like the color combos that I like best and uh, just uh, time. Time and, and doing will um, help me figure out my style and what I like and stuff. Um, I'm literally just, I'm just doing squiggles, you guys. I'm just doing some squiggles. I just picked out some paints that I felt went kind of with the colors of the background that I already had painted and the pages that I picked. And so I picked out like a green and a yellow. And that's it. I think I had planned. Oh, and then eventually I pick out a blue, um, paint marker. I think I had planned to also use the like aqua turquoise, what is that? Teal? I don't know. The color I used on the last one, but I didn't. I didn't think that it would go really. So I am just plopping some, some dots and some paint all over, kind of haphazardly. Um, I'm just trying to let, let the page take me where it takes me. Um, I really had no plan. For this page other than I knew what images I was going to be putting on it and um, I knew what color paints I was going to be using for the most part um, but yeah not really no plan so I let the, um, the paints dry for a little bit and then I took this stencil which has got a bunch of stars and shooting stars and stuff like that and I took um, this paint, it's like a white, um, pearlescent metallic-y kind of paint. It's got like a pink shift to it. 
Um, and I was trying to kind of put it on there a little thickly. Thickly, is that a word? I don't know. Is that proper English? Who knows? Not me. But I was trying to put it on there in a thick like fashion because um, I really wanted the like color to still show. I didn't want you to only be able to see it when you moved the page and the light caught it. I wanted to be able to see it even when like you weren't necessarily seeing the shift of the the pink metallic. So I blobbed it on there real good and luckily it pretty much dried that way. Um, so that worked out. And I'm just sticking them all over the place. And I had some extra on my brush, so I just kind of painted that on wherever. And then I flipped it upside down and painted to put a blob there and a blob there. And I'm just wiping it off. And then I let that dry. And I came back with um, a blue paint marker. This is a what is it? Craft Smart? Whatever the Michaels brand is of art supplies. Um, and I just started outlining random things. I don't know, you guys. Like I said, I didn't really have a plan here. I just started kind of doing stuff. And then I double outlined everything because I like the look of that. So I did that like, is that a bear? I think it's a bear. I don't really know. And then I did this seagull up here. Double outlined him too. And then the soccer ball. And then I started doing some of these um, like iridescent metallic stars. And of course I double outlined those as well. And then just put some like little stars all over. I should have found I should have looked for like a glitter with stars in it and I should have mixed it with some like Mod Podge and put it on but I didn't think of that but that would have been a good idea so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just picking random stuff to outline and putting little dots and stars all over I'm just trying to add more texture and interest um, I think that's kind of just my goal with art journal pages in general well with the last two that I've done is I've tried to incorporate a good mixture of shapes texture and color to make it as interesting as I can with my limited skills currently and then since the paint marker dries pretty quickly I could pretty much go just straight in with this glitter and this is one of these like little tubs of glitter that I'm just trying to use up they're just like little cheapy like craft glitters I don't not craft I mean I guess they're like glitter, water based glitter paints I don't know I don't remember where I got them but I've had them for so long that they're starting to like gum up and dry up and I had to um reconstitute the one on the last one which was a nightmare I didn't really have to do that with this one um, I put a little bit of water in it just to make it easier to to paint on but other than that it was it was mostly fine and I'm just kind of just literally just putting that everywhere not really caring about getting an even coat I'm just like slapping it in random places I'm not really caring that much about how thick it is how thin it is just trying to get the glitter on and my only goal with this glitter was to make sure I used up the entire tub, which I did. So I'm proud of myself. And then that's pretty much it. The last thing I do is I take this Heidi Swap uh, Color Shine spray, and I think it's in like cit citron or something like that. It's like a lime green color, and I just splatter that all over the place. Um, it's not like super noticeable, but I think it added a little bit of something something to the page. I am not a big fan of how this page turned out, but I'm not mad about it because I know that I am still learning. 
it's fine. And when I go back, once I finish this and I go back and I flip through it, I'm sure it's not really going to bother me as much as it does now. I mean, I wouldn't even really say it bothers me now. It's just not my favorite. Um, but yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you can continue on my art journaling journey. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.